In 2019, Disney is set to make a major splash in the video streaming game, with their very own service, Disney Plus, planned for release sometime in the fall. If the idea of an on-demand catalog of every Disney, Marvel, or Pixar project wasn't enough to get you excited, Disney has also announced, or we've at least heard reports, for several original TV shows and movies that will be exclusive to Disney Plus. Here's a breakdown of everything so far heading to Disney's new streaming service next year. As you could have guessed, Disney is going to squeeze as much out of the Star Wars franchise as they can, and has so far announced three projects in the works for Disney+. The Mandalorian will be a series surrounding the bounty hunters of Mandalore, which were featured in the Star Wars The Clone Wars animated series. According to executive producer Jon Favreau, The Mandalorian is set after the fall of the Empire and before the emergence of the First Order. We follow the travails of a lone gunfighter in the outer reaches of the galaxy, far from the authority of the New Republic. Now, you could stop there and I'm 100% sold, but when you add in Pedro Pascal, Gina Carano, and Nick Nolte to the cast, or the news that Bryce Dallas Howard and Thor Ragnarok's Taika Waititi, among others, are set to direct, then I officially need this in my eyes, like now. Perhaps equally as exciting is the Rogue One prequel series, which will follow the rebel spy Cassian in his early days of espionage. And even better, the series will bring back Diego Luna to reprise his role. The dark but noble spy willing to do what had to be done in the name of the Resistance was a major highlight of the film, and seeing how his character came to be in a longer television format will surely be just as rewarding. And finally, fans of Star Wars The Clone Wars can rejoice, as it was announced back during San Diego Comic-Con 2018, that 12 all-new episodes of the animated series are headed to the streaming service. Now Disney is also developing some original content for their little art house darling Marvel Studios, with three series reportedly in the works. So far, the only confirmed project is a series starring Tom Hiddleston as the God of Mischief. We don't know what Loki will be doing in this series, but who the heck cares? More Loki, more Hiddleston, I'm in. You just couldn't stay away, could you? It's also been reported that a series following the Winter Soldier and Falcon, as well as one starring the Scarlet Witch and Vision, are in the works, and yes, all the original MCU stars are presumed to be attached. Can you move your seat up? No. If Disney does manage to get this many projects off the ground with huge Hollywood talent returning to their roles for the small screen, this will be a major way Disney Plus could match or even get ahead of well-established streaming giants like Netflix. Outside of the Star Wars and Marvel behemoths, Disney is also creating original series for Monsters, Inc., High School Musical, and The Mighty Ducks. Reaching a little bit further into their catalog of Disney goodness, it looks like The Muppets are getting another shot after 2015's The Muppets TV show, which only lasted one season. As of the making of this video, we don't yet know if we can expect another series or a Muppet movie, but we suspect a series is in the works. Electric yep. In the spirit of live action remakes no one asked for but Disney knows you'll be dying to see, 1955's Lady and the Tramp is getting the live action plus CGI treatment, with Justin Theroux and Tessa Thompson taking on the title roles. The Sword in the Stone isn't always the first Disney movie to come to mind, but it is still a major classic, which is also set to be remade in live action. 28 weeks later's Juan Carlos Fresnadillo has been tapped to direct, with Game of Thrones vet Brian Cogman set to write the latest telling of the King Arthur fame. It's a miracle, ordained by heaven. This boy is our king. In 2016, Disney picked up a script from The Hunger Games and Captain Phillips writer Billy Ray for a Pirates of the Caribbean-like action-adventure adaptation of Don Quixote. We don't know much else about the project at this point, other than that they're apparently keen on making it exclusive to Disney+, Plus rather than a theatrical release. You may remember 1995's animated movie Balto about the dog sled team which delivered life-saving serum to a small Alaskan town in 1925. Togo, however, is set to be a live-action film about the sled team which traveled the longest leg of that 674-mile journey, led by Togo and the human sled driver Leonard Zappala, who will be played by Willem Dafoe. Beyond that, we can also expect feature films based on the book Stargirl, a story of a girl transitioning from homeschooling to public high school, Charlie Holmberg's The Paper Magician about a young magician's apprentice and the exciting magical world therein, as well as Timmy Failure, a children's book about an 11-year-old detective. Disney Plus is also expected to feature the comedy Magic Camp starring Adam Devine and Gillian Jacobs, and of all things, a reboot of Three Men and a Baby, but let's just hope they go a little further than the original's mere concept of men raising kids. That will be an interesting one to follow for sure. It was also just recently announced that Sister Act 3 is set to be produced for Disney Plus, however Whoopi Goldberg will not be making a return. 
We also have Anna Kendrick in the Christmas movie Noel, which is a flick that was originally set for a theatrical release in the fall of 2019, but it appears Disney is going all in on trying to bolster their new platform by moving it out of theaters and on to Disney+. And finally, for the real fans of all things Disney, you can get excited for a behind the scenes look at Walt Disney Imagineering, the team behind creating the Disney theme park experience that makes you feel like you've truly stepped into another world. So there it is, a pretty sizable list and rather strong showing for Disney if it manages to get these through production and on the Disney Plus platform on or near its launch next year. Right now, we want to know if you're excited about any of this and if you think Disney can convince you to sign on. Drop your thoughts in the comments and for more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe to Cinema Blend.